I've had to do some pretty amazing things for Ion Australia, like scuba diving with sharks, mustering brumbies, and taming man-eating lions. But nothing has quite prepared me for feeding time at the zoo. For the job of looking after these guys, I'm in the hands of ace seal keeper, Abby Dottore. Our day starts in the kitchen, serving up brekkie for nine. One tray of the tiny mullets. Taronga seals go through 200 kilograms of fish a day, and it's nothing but the best. A seal with an upset tummy would not be a pretty sight. If there's a fish that you're a bit doubtful of, just say it's a bit squashed or there's guts hanging out of it, uh, we throw it out. Seals are pretty selective. Some prefer squid, others like mullet. Good guys. Yeah, yeah. No, bad. Everything has to be kept spick and span in this place. My mother has taught me this, and my good wife has kept me in practice. Addie's no different. Now she has me cleaning out the pools. And it's a dirty job, one for the apprentice. Seals are like teenagers. They play around a lot, don't do their chores, and eat you out of house and home. They are greedy mammals. They think through their stomach. And because of that, they are quite easy to train. We reward everything that we get them to do with fish. And they do enjoy working because they know they're going to get paid for it. They're like people. They expect to be paid for everything they do. Would you like to feed Ida? Sure, I'd love to feed Ida. Okay. My fingers safe? Yeah. The fish always goes down head first because of the scars and the spines. If it goes down tail first, the spines Stick get caught in their throat. Yeah. Do you want to vocalise? Yeah, vocalise for me. OK. Sing. What? 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 No. OK. OK, don't have fish in your hand, though. I'll Ida swallow it. OK, now, what? <coughs> what? <coughs> Again? <coughs> Good. Taronga has six different types of seals, the biggest being the southern elephant. Macquarie, for example, weighs nearly half a tonne, and he's just a youngster. By the time he's fully grown, he'll weigh ten times as much. Oh, yeah, it's just like a really fat person. They feel exactly the same, don't they? It's just <laughs> the texture, obviously, is different, but just the blubbery yeah. sensation. This is one of the highlights of my day. Feeding these guys is just like posting a letter. Most of the seals have been conditioned to perform certain behaviours on cue. Don't call them tricks, though. Magicians do those. This is all in the name of research. Antarctic leopard seals, and we have a female here, They've, uh, they've done very little research down them out in the wild because they are a solitary seal. They just can't keep track of them. And it is vital that we find out more about these animals now before they become extinct. My day of work experience wouldn't be complete without a stint with the fairy penguins and the star attraction, Louis the Albino. Unlike the former show seals that share this enclosure, these guys are bimbos. They're not overly intelligent. No. <laughs> They learn where the food comes from and they're really good at building nests and things, but apart from that, you can't do much with them. But what they lack in brains, they make up for in personality. And when it's time for Betty buys... Clap your hands and start walking after them. Come on, kids, start for Zeds. Oh, hang on, you're chasing him in the wrong direction. Yeah, he's got to go up that way. 